Hello and welcome to the Artisan Bakehouse. My name's Les and today we're going to make an artisan white loaf and we're going to make it in one of these, one of our bannertons here. And so we get these lovely concentric rings of flour around our bread, which you can eat with just about anything, but just with some butter is absolutely fabulous. one side and we can use our dough scraper now if you haven't got one of these and you want to make a lot of bread then I would really suggest you buy a couple of these because you can use them in tandem help scrape the dough from one to the other but they're really useful for working the dough around the bowl so just keep working that in make sure you haven't got any dry flour that's the mix we're going to leave that now for about 10 minutes or so uh, just to make sure that the water gets fully absorbed into the flour and then we can move on to the kneading. Just going to get a little bit of olive oil on my fingers. Now, today we're going to use a kneading technique called stretch and fold in the bowl. So we're going to punch it down with our fingers and then we're just going to go to the far side of the bowl lift up a portion of the dough, stretch it over to the front and push down with your knuckles, turn the bowl ever so slightly, lift another portion of dough at the back into the front and we're going to work this round. So we're going to do this about 10 times. It'll feel sticky but don't worry, just go with it up and over. So we want to do this 10 times if we can, up and over. And you'll get plenty of practice at this because we're going to do this four times at about 10 minute intervals. Now we just need to cover it up while it rests. So I've got a, a shower cap here, which we use. And you can use them over and over again and they give a nice protection to the dough just to stop it from drying out. What we're going to do is we're going to take this, this side of the dough and we're just going to wrap it over to that side and just push down. And then we're going to take the other side of the dough and push down over there. So it's almost like a book. And then we're just going to press down like that. And then what we're going to do is go to the far side of the dough. We're going to fold it over on itself and push in and push in well. Fold again, push in, one more time, push in and roll. So you end up with a, a roll of dough. And then be really generous with the flour and work your way round. Then we're gonna pick our loaf up and then we're just gonna bed the little chap in and we're gonna let him rest for about another 20 to 30 minutes or so. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to go one diagonal across there. You can see it's starting to open up and we're going to pop this now in the oven. Slide it off like that, shut the door, and then we're going to add some steam. I want to try and create a moist environment for the dough. There we go. Now 
Wow, look at that. Fantastic oven spring, beautifully baked. So now the best thing to do is just let it cool and then you can slice into it with that nice crunch, slather it in butter and really enjoy it.